It is week 14 in the NFL. Thanks for joining me. It is time for another edition of Picks with David. We've got five big games to talk about here for this weekend and Monday. And we'll begin in Pittsburgh, where the Baltimore Ravens are coming to town. In the AFC North, the 8-4 and four Baltimore Ravens lead the division, and they go to the 5-7 and seven Pittsburgh Steelers. Baltimore comes in wounded. Lamar Jackson is hurt and will not play in the game. The running game has, you know, done the best they can, but the Pass game has let them down over the last couple of weeks. They're coming off of what I would call a gut-wrenching loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And so here you've got Baltimore coming to town. Pittsburgh's managed to win a few here and there. And despite the fact that Mike Tomlin has not had a below 500 record in his career, if things continue the way they are, he will have a losing record for the first time in his career as a head coach. But they're starting to come on. The running game is working. The offensive line is gelling. Pickett's not turning the ball over. With no Lamar Jackson, I got to take the Pittsburgh Steelers to win the game today. The 10-2 and Minnesota Vikings at the 5-7 and Detroit Lions. The Minnesota Viking defense has not been impressive for several weeks. Detroit is continuing to be one of the most high-powered scoring offenses in the NFL. Jamal Williams leads the NFL in rushing touchdowns, and I think it's going to continue to be the same thing here against the Vikings. The Vikings, they seem like the kind of team that beats up on all of the Weaker opponents, but when they play somebody good, they go down. Detroit is actually starting to become a very good team. You can see that the future is bright for this team. If their defense can hold back against Justin Jefferson and this Vikings offense, I think Detroit's got a real shot at home. And even though I'm a Viking fan, I'm going to take the Lions today to win the game. Game number three is the 6-6 six and six Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the 8-4 and four San Francisco 49ers. Tom Brady is up to his old tricks here as he just come back with a quick end of the game touchdown to knock off the Saints in the game last week. But I tell you, this Tampa Bay offense has not performed well for four quarters nearly all season long. Brady and the Buccaneers know how to play. They're just not executing. The defense has held its own, but the offense has trouble running the ball from time to time. I think it's a possibility that their offense is too predictable. I think that they have a lot of veteran players, and the age shows in the receiving core. For the 49ers, they lost Jimmy Garoppolo, and that means it's Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. Purdy looked great last week in relief. After Garoppolo went down, the 49ers took care of business against the Miami Dolphins, and with their running game, and their defense, I think the 49ers do the same thing this week against the Buccaneers. I'll take the San Francisco 49ers to win the game Sunday. Flaxed into Sunday night football, we've got the 8-4 and four Miami Dolphins at the 6-6 six and six Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers have all the offensive weaponry you could ever ask for, but they've got hurt receivers from time to time. We're still waiting on Keenan Allen to re remain on the field and not have to go off because he's injured all the time. 
Now Mike Williams is off, you know, with some ankle issues. But Austin Eckler can run the football. They found some dynamic offensive receivers in Joshua Palmer and DeAndre Carter. And I like their tight end, Gerald Everett, the former Ram and Seahawk. Herbert can make the plays. He's got the arm if the offensive line can protect him. But the defense has let them down. Yes, they've got a great pass rush. And they've got a couple of really good players in the secondary like Derwin James. I don't know what the weak link is here, but everybody seems to play them down to the wire. Some weeks they win, some weeks they don't. Miami's coming off of a loss at San Francisco. They stayed on the West Coast in preparation for this game. A little extra time because it's the Sunday night slot. They've got an excellent offense. The additions that they have made at the running back spot and wide receiver Tua has played very well, although he was very uncharacteristically not accurate last week against the 49ers, I think a result of the pass rush that was coming at him. But in this particular game, the Chargers playing at home, they're going to play him down to the wire, but I think the Miami Dolphins can win this game, and I'm going to take them on Sunday Night Football. Monday Night Football on ESPN pits the 6-6 New England Patriots at the 4-8 Arizona Cardinals. At first glance, I was prepared to take the Patriots in this game. But they're going on the road across the country, and their offense has struggled from time to time. Mac Jones has done the best he can with the receivers they have, Not a lot of dynamic playmakers in the receiving core. The running game, on the other hand, they can run the football behind a decent offensive line. They've got a couple of different players that can tote the rock and do well there. For the Cardinals, this will be the first game that they'll have both DeAndre Hopkins and Hollywood Marquise Brown at receiver. And so playing at home... The Cardinals have struggled here throughout the season. Everybody wants to blame Kyler Murray, but I think he's played well. It's been defense, play calling, a combination of things. Uh, I like the Arizona Cardinals to win this game on Monday Night Football. So there you have it. Another week of Picks with David in the books. Thanks for joining me for another edition right here on both YouTube and Facebook. If you like receiving my picks and you think they're worth a darn, I've been doing pretty good this year. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos throughout the NFL season as the postseason is coming up here soon. Also, for those of you that are getting ready to play fantasy football and get into your playoffs, I'll have some tidbits on that going forward starting next week. Once again, thanks a lot, and we'll see you Thursday for the Amazon Prime Thursday Night Football Game.